To start things off in Landmark, the Site Modifier tool has been upgraded with direct access to the various modes that previously had to be changed in the Preferences dialog or after creation. Now, these modes are available directly in the toolbar. Along the same lines, you can also set the desired elevation of a Site Modifier ahead of time, as opposed to needing to alter each after creation. Next, Site Model settings can be saved as a set. Any Site Model settings you apply to a new or existing Site Model can be saved. These saved sets will be available application-wide and can be applied even to new site models in new documents not created from a template. It's also now possible to directly specify which design layers you wish a given site model to use site modifiers from. This allows you to place your site modifiers on layers based on their function and your own organizational system without altering what will show as expected on a site model. We've separated out existing versus proposed site model flow arrows to give you more control over what you wish to see. You can even class these two arrow indicators separately and apply different attributes to each type via that class. To cap off improvements to flow arrows, we've added the ability to scale the arrows based on the severity of the slope, with longer arrows representing steeper slopes. Last, site modifiers now support bank slopes. This makes it significantly easier and faster to align multiple grades, like those you might find in a driveway, and control the drainage without having to resort to a lot of mental math. These slopes can be defined by angle, downward and upward percentage, or downward and upward rise over run.